This video covers how to change the base unit of measurement on a physical inventory item. It is required to review the pre and post checks in the attached solution article before proceeding with this change. This video only covers the basic steps involved in the change. In this example, we are changing a vaccine that has a 2 mil dose to have a base unit of measurement of dose instead of mil. To start, record the current stock levels for the item in each inventory location. Once the information has been recorded, we will zero all stock for this item. The easiest way to zero the item is to use the Zero Out by Container option under the Administration dropdown. Check the box next to any containers that display and click OK. In the following windows, click Yes, then Confirm in all caps to clearly confirm you wish to completely zero out all stock of this item. Once the stock has been zeroed, the completion window displays, confirming stock has now been zeroed. Under the Administration dropdown, select the Change Base Unit of Measurement option. Carefully read the warning in the window before proceeding. We select Dose as the new base measurement in the window, then click Save. Now that the base measurement has been updated, we need to update the containers to appropriately reflect the number of base units. If a container has never had transactions associated with it, we can select the Quantity field and change the value as seen here where we change the 2 mil dose syringe quantity from 2 doses to 1 dose. Click Apply to save the change. We can tell the 20 mil bottle has had transactions associated with it because the quantity field is grayed out and we are unable to change it by clicking within the field. To change the 20 mil bottle container quantity, we highlight the bottle by clicking within the dark gray cell for the row, then select Change Container Base Conversion from the Administration dropdown. Input the number of the new base units that are in this container. There are 10 doses in this bottle, so we input 10, then click Save. Now that your item has been corrected, navigate to the Stock Levels and Controls tab and use adjustment transactions to restore the stock levels to their previous quantities. That concludes our video on changing the base unit of measurement on a physical inventory item. Thank you for taking the time to watch this instructional video.